Now I'm going to be using the multiply method for this question. If you've got a, a different method that works really well, then stick with it. But you do need to know the multiply method for the GCSE. Now the word that probably tricks most people is this one here. Depreciates means goes down. Okay, it means it loses value. So it goes down by 1.7% each year. So to work out multiply, you first of all start off with 100%. Now this time you take away 1.7%, okay, because it's going down by 1.7%. You can do that on your calculator or in your head. So 100 take away 1.7 is 98.3%. Then you want to work it out as a multiplier. So you're going to do 98.3%. You just divide it by 100. And multiply is a posh way of saying decimal. So 0.983. Now, any time I time sink by 0.983, it will decrease it by 1.7%. So, we've got a car we bought in 1980, and what is it worth in 1985? So, that is five years. So, it's going to depreciate by 1.7% uh, every year. So, we've got the 2,245. And if we times it by 0 0.983 once, that's one year. But we need to times it by that amount five times. And instead of writing that times 9, uh, 0 0.983 times 0 0.983 times 0 0.983 five times, I can just do it to the power of five. You get the same answer. So in the exam, you can just write times 0 0.983 five times, and that's absolutely fine. You get the same answer. So. 2245 on the calculator times 0.983 to the power of 5 and I get the answer of 2060.5536687 blah 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 okay so because it's money it's going to be two decimal places so that's going to be 55 five. now last thing is just to check your answer makes sense well the car was worth 2245 It has depreciated, but not by very much. 1.7% is not very much. So it's gone down, and it's lost about, say, roughly £200. So the answer makes sense.